football returns to Italy this weekend with match day number one in the 2019-2020 Serie A season. And we'll talk about those and get our predictions because here they come. That's right, folks, back once again with another video. This time we're taking a look at match day number one in the 2019-2020 Serie A season. We'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep you a bang up to date. Little things, Black and Rovers related, Serie A related, World Football related. We're going to all here. Under Warowski. Here we are, boys and girls, in the stinky, smelly, but beautiful Yellowstone National Park at the Frying Pan Spring. Can we see the sign? Yes, it is. Um, but uh, we're not going to be talking about that. Let's talk about match day number one. And here come my predictions. Okay, folks, now before we get a look at uh, match day number one out in Syria, I'm going to take a look at the current state of flux. And that is the table. It is a squeaky clean table. Everyone's unbeaten, 100% record. But that's all going to change after this weekend. I know it's been a long time coming, uh, the Italians, to kind of drag out their uh, start of the new season. But it's here at long last. But what's going to happen in match day one? So let's take a look at the matches then, folks. Uh, Palmer will open up the season up against Juventus the champions on uh, Friday I believe and that is a early kickoff Parma finishing last season in 14th spot up against the Juventus who were El Capitano's El Champions who finished with 90 points last season uh, and I see this as a same old same old Juventus will get up and running not in tremendous style but a win known the same now you might realize some of these spellings are not in English they are I believe in German not even in Italian how crazy is that but uh, it's the way it's gonna have to be folks it's the way it's going to have to be. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Fl uh, Fiorentina up against Napoli in the next game. Another difficult one. Fiorentina finished the season in pretty trim uh, woeful form, finishing in 16th spot. Th uh, three points above the drop zone up against the Napoli side, who finished second with 79 points on the board. I just think it's a, you know, reset, a chance to reset the blocks a little bit. Fiorentina will hold out for a draw. 2-2. Two -two. A lot of goals in this one. Four in total. We'll have to see if that comes through. Udinese taking on AC Milan, another team. Udinese actually picking up the points towards the back end of the season. Last time out, finishing in 12th spot. AC Milan on the flip side finished in 5th spot, but they are banned from Europa League action and that opened up the door for the likes of Lazio who finished in 8th. Uh, so Roma finished, uh, sorry, uh, Milan finished in 5th, 68 points, just 1 point outside those Champions League spots. What are they going to do this time out? I think, have they got a new manager? I think they have. Uh, his name escapes me at the moment. But a 2-0 away win, open doors at the start of the season for AC Milan to get them up and running. Meanwhile, Cagliari taking on Brescia, one of the new boys from Serie B. Cagliari on the flip side finished in 15th spot last time out 41 points on the board can they make it uh, a better improvement on that I think I've got them to go down this season I'm actually going to go with a 1-1 draw in the opening game uh, meanwhile Hellas Verona another team that got promoted from Serie B will take on Bologna Bologna finished in tremendous shape at the back end of the season up to 10th last time out I think if they if they equal that or do anything better than that it would be absolutely crazy I don't see it happening to be honest with you I think this will be a 2-1 win for them though away from home to kind of be a rude awakening for Hellas Verona as they come into Syria. Ah, meanwhile, AS Roma. Yeah, they finished in sixth spot in Europa League spots up against Genoa, uh, who finished in 17th spot, the luckiest team in the league, uh, just to, to hang on by goal difference. And Pauli Frosioni and Shimi Shivo all went down last time out. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with a home win on this one. AS Roma should open up with a comfortable win. And they are in the mix to be in those Champions League spots at the at the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see, though. Sampdoria take on Lazio, the other, the other Roma side here. Sampdoria finished ninth last time out. Lazio finishing eighth. So this is a right mid-table crunch clash uh, to open up the campaign for both of these bad boys. Uh, I'm actually going to go with a 1-0 home win for Sampdoria to give them the edge uh, and, and, and kick off their season in, in tremendous shape. Meanwhile, Spal, uh, they ended the season in 13th spot. Not great. 42 points on the board. Up against Atalanta with the surprise packages finishing in third spot last time out in those Champions League spots. Level on points with Internazionale, but goal difference got them the edge. Uh, they will open up the camp with a 1-1 draw against Spal. Again, it's a difficult one. First game of the season, trying to get up and running. But Atalanta should be still in the mix this time. I don't think it's too much has gone, got too much has changed with, with personnel-wise. Don't quote me on that one, though. Meanwhile, Torino take on Sausulio. Sausulio did amazing last season, but they kind of tailed off towards the end, ultimately finishing in 11th. Uh, Torino finishing in 7th, and they did qualify for the, uh, for the Europa League stages. At this time, there would have been a... Or when this video goes live, we will know how they got up against Wolves in the first leg anyway. Uh, but for me, I'm going to go 
with Torino on this one, the home win, 2-0. There will be no hangover, uh, regardless of what goes on in Europa League. So opening up with a 2-0 win, not too shabby. And then wrapping it up, into Milan, up against Lecce, the other team that got promoted from Serie B. Into Milan finishing in fourth spot. Uh, they have a new manager at the helm, I think, is it Conte? Uh, I, I got mixed up between the Roma new manager, the Inter new manager. There's been a lot of new managers knocking around uh, in, the, in the Italian league. So, um, yeah, all change uh, for the most part. Obviously, Juventus also got a new manager as well. Didn't really talk about that. But uh, for me, Inter Milan will open up the season with a 3-0 win at home. Give them a fantastic start at the brand new season. And if those results were to come true, this is what the table would look like at the end of match day number one. Roma will be top of the pops. Inter Milan will be second. AC Milan third. Torino will be fourth. Bologna fifth. Juventus will be sixth. And down the bottom will be South Studio, Genoa and Lecce in the relegation spots with no points on the board. Now, before we get out of here, make sure you stick your own predictions in the comment section down below so we can take a look at them next match day, match day number two. And uh, also let you know that I'll be doing live predictions for the Premier League, the Championship, and the Champions League starting in September. So make sure you check that bad boy out. And also, if you're bored on a Saturday, make sure you check me out over on Twitch with live match reaction as Blackburn Rovers try to dig their way out of the Championship at this attempt. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. New videos pretty much every single day on the channel, um, wherever we are in the world but uh yeah the return to action uh for italian football is coming give me your thoughts and opinions in your comment section down below and we'll do it all again next weekend and of course um yeah give me your predictions as well but until then i gotta get out of here i've gotta hit the road boys and girls hit the road so make sure you smash the thumbs up make sure you smash the subscribe and i'll be back very very soon thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers related championship related Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>